Thank you for tuning in to The Truth With Trinity, and I am your host, Trinity. And if this is your first time tuning into the podcast, I'd like to see you a warm welcome. Here I talk about issues that happen within the Black community, hopefully for some resolution or at least some food for thought to go about your daily way. So without further ado, I'd like to jump into this episode's topic, which is, when will the Black man finish what he started? I wanted to first start off by thanking all my listeners uh, for listening, all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to hear more content when it becomes available, please do hit the like button or the subscribe button. And I also wanted to say that um, I do understand that not everybody is going to like what is said. And one thing about truth is, you know, everyone's not going to like what you say. You know, everyone's not supposed to uh, feel uh, and be appeased by what you say. Other than that, it wouldn't be the truth, would it? And on top of that, you know, it's not about us competing. You know, it's not about um, one side or the other, because I really believe that in order for the black man and woman to resurrect from their uh, consciously dead uh, disposition as a whole, we got to stop saying, okay, black women, you know, we've been hurt by our black man. We feel unprotected and that's just it. Okay. Like that's it. And, and we're, we're just going to shut out the black man's feelings and the, the black man saying, Hey, I, I feel damaged by the world. Uh, not being able to be a man coming home to a black woman and feeling like, you know, the black woman hates me as well. Um, I think it's time for us as black people. I'm a firm believer um, that we need to start understanding each other. And, to start off with, I like to say, dear brothers and sisters, I believe that we shouldn't compete in what we know. We must learn to put what we know together to help our people more than ever. Okay. And I think, you know, as black people, we're so used to competing for a little bit of an accolade, a position, um, something when it comes to, you know, white America, we're so used to pitting against each other to try to get a little piece of a crumb, you know, instead of operating like other nationalities and other uh, leading countries do. One person's good at this. They'll be master at that. One person's good at baking. One person's good at politics. One person's good at uh, hunting and one person, you know, so we need to learn how to collectively put together our skills instead of trying to um, compete with each other. Why, why don't we put together what we know? You know, we need to develop a new mindset. I have hopes that this channel comes across as more than just another gender war rehearsal show. Okay, so I'm not on here to to uh, bash one gender or another. I'm, I'm simply trying to inform and give insight. And, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. That's what makes us individuals. And that's what makes us beautiful on what we can do as black people to actually move ahead. Okay. But to understand that if the black woman and black man, man doesn't come together soon, we will become extinct and our children will continue to start adulthood into poverty conditions due to lack of generational wealth and single parenting. They'll continue to be incarcerated due to anger and lack of supervision and protection. And our daughters will continue to produce children without proper security while the whole world laughs and makes a mockery of the black man and woman. Because we uh, we think the problems we face is as simple as pointing to just one side. Okay, so we think we think as black people we can just point this at the black man, or we can just point this at the black woman. But the black man and black woman have been mentally, emotionally, and psychologically damaged purposefully in different ways and methods with the sole intent that we would never figure out how to piece ourselves back together again. It sounds like Humpty Dumpty, doesn't it? All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't figure out how to put Humpty, to get Humpty Dumpty together again. And that's the purpose of us being tortured and, and psychologically damaged in different methods. 
the black man's been tortured in different ways, the black woman, you know, so we can we can sit and keep talking about the issues that we have without coming up with, with um, constructive methods that's going to move us forward, okay, to make our ancestors proud. And with the black man being the foundation, if he continues to have cracks and craters instead of a strong stand front of brotherhood, how will he be able to create a strong stand front for the women to produce healthy children? When we first were brought here, whether we were brought here or whether we were already, some of us were already here, you know, amongst the natives and we were natives and we had land here. Cause you know, there's so many theories about who black people are. Cause you know, black is, is, is the unknown. They, they put that term black on us, you know, to, um, you know, cover up what tribe we come from. But regardless of that, when, you know, when we first became slaves, okay. Captured. Okay. They had to separate, the free thinking elders from the babies and children to create um, productive workers, okay? So when we first came here or however it happened, they had to separate the elders and the babies. And I'm, I'm mentioning this because we're gonna have to reverse that method. So this is not about slaughtering the elders that already exist and separating our children from us, but it's about separating the mindset that we have as black people. So we're gonna have to do a reverse Willie Lynch. We're gonna have to take the older adults and those who will listen, who want to, or those that are so far gone that they can't understand, but we're gonna, the, the things that are positive for black people, it's really gonna have to start with the young boys and girls at the ages of two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight on up. We're gonna have to teach them this new method Okay, so that their mind won't be in shackles. Okay, and with the black man being the son of God himself. Okay, the black man, you are the son of God, the master creator that he once was, that he had the ability, okay, to call what he willed into existence, you know, because that's one of the, the perks of being, you know, the sons of God or the daughters of God was that you can call, you know, what you will into existence. Okay, call those things not as though they were. The black man's brain, mind, and heart has been damaged. Okay, and how was the black man's brain, heart, and mind damaged? It was damaged by being forced into another man's reality. Whose reality? The white man's reality in this country, okay? A reality that was created for him, his women, and children. A reality where the black man was no longer in control of his own destiny, okay? Which in retrospect, depressed and oppressed the black man, which trickled down to his women and children. Because that's what's going on. You know, the black woman's complaining like, hey, these black men are really trying to kill us and hurt us. You know, and, and who does the black man take it out on? The one that's closest to him, his black woman. And who ends up suffering? The children. Because then the black woman is taking that brunt and she's passing it on to the children. And it's just creating more of a cycle. That's why I'm trying to get, you know, black men and women to understand. Okay. Um, but the black man must regain control of his life, destiny, decisions, women, and children. Will the black man ever finish what he started? Many times black men start one family, then jump ship. But when will he stay to raise his offspring, to show them the way? When will the black man continue um, for the black woman, uh, or excuse me, let me repeat that. When will the black man convince the black woman that he is not around for play but that he can withstand the distance. When will the black man start to love what he sees when he looks in the mirror enough to make sure no stepdad has his son or daughter? When will the black man finish what he started? Seeing your child every day in a diaper shouldn't be the last time you stayed. When will the black man discontinue being afraid to grow old with one woman? 
When will the black man finish what he started? When will the black man shave with his son in the mirror in the morning? Pull him underneath the car as a teenager and scold him when he is wrong so that his mom doesn't have to raise her heart rate trying to stand over a tall teenage boy? Or when will the black man show and not tell and prove to his daughters that she is worth a man's commitment by staying 365 days a year, making it that much harder for a guy to lie, swindle, fool, and coerce or rob her out of her virginity because that thief knows that her father is home. And not, and not just that he is home, but that he actually cares about the quality of his daughter's life once she is gone from his home. When will the black man finish what he has started? When will the black man understand that yes, we as black women need to do better at who we open our legs to, but when will black men understand that leaving one family to procreate with another woman only to leave that family too, only leaves more damaged women with more black children who will never fully know their father? When will the black man ever finish what he started? When will the black man grow wise enough to know that child support can't attack him if his wife isn't on food stamps inside the home with at least a two family income if need be? When will the black man understand that there is no real threat in him impregnating four women at one time, but the real threat is him having four kids by one woman, which is his wife that all know him. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there and say that, you know, this country doesn't care if the black man has 20 kids because that increases the risk of, you know, um, feed, fetal death among the, uh, the, uh, the women. Okay, not getting proper care, having to work extra hard because the man's bouncing from home to home. They don't care about that. They don't care about, you know, half of those women having abortions. OK, so, 20, you know, so, you know, as black people, we like to brag that, you know, we procreate twice as quicker um, at them white people. But but what they have us Trump that is that they're creating quality families. So it's quality over quantity. So they're not caring about us breeding. And I, and I hate to say breeding because it's like animalistic. But I mean, hey, they don't care about us having kids, you know, with no meaningful families out of wedlock. Um, the black man being um, incarcerated because of child support for seven or eight different uh, miscellaneous child support cases by random women. They don't care about any of that because that's fat fattening their their pockets and supplying their homes with more money. No, the real threat is the black man finishing what he started and actually having a family with a woman and having seven or eight kids with one woman or two kids or one kid or whatever and staying that course with that woman so the children will have meaningful homes and um, wealth and stability and to be able to, um, um, to be mentally more sound and capable in school. Okay, that, that's, that's the real threat, black man. But when will the black man finish what he started? When will the black man realize the dope game is a systemic racial plantation trap for black men and another method that separates the black woman's protection away from her? Why do 20 years locked up when you could do 18 years seeing your offspring grow up? When will the black man finish what he started? When will the black man stop passing out false uh, reassurance that leaves the black woman in PTSD mode saying he will be there forever, but only for seasonal weather? OK, that's another thing. You know, they're saying that black women are so anxious and, and black women are, you know, this and that. And, and they're afraid that a man might leave them. Well, if, if more black men, quite honestly, would stop making these promises that they are going to be there, whether they're lying or whatever the case is. Stop. They need to realize that this is this is damaging their women and who raise your children are women. OK, and if you don't want your children damaged, the black woman um, doesn't need to be damaged. And, and, and if we're and if black men are saying that black women's walls are too high and all this and acting like they don't know why, 
the black man needs to finish what he started. So this is no more that the black man can go around promising and trying to spend his energy convincing a woman that he's going to be there only to say, I was just fronting. I'm just joking. Okay. Like I said, when will the black man finish what he started? Okay. When will the black man stop chasing liquor, drugs, and strange women? All the diversions that were set up to keep the black man from having a clear conscience mind to decide, plan, dictate, educate, study, create, provide, protect, self-reflect, and create. And last but not least, it was all designed to keep the black man from ever finishing what he started. But dear black man, with help from the God over Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I know that you can, you can and will finish what you have started. That pretty much concludes this segment. It's been a pleasure speaking with you all. And if you're listening from YouTube, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. You know, um, if you'd like, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can contact me at thetruthwithtrinity.com. If you'd like to make a contribution or show your financial love to keep the Trinity, excuse me, to keep the Truth with Trinity afloat and running, you can also hit the PayPal button on thetruthwithtrinity.com. You can also listen to my podcast on YouTube, Spotify, and Anchor. And always remember, if you can't tell the truth with anyone else, you can with Trinity. Till next time, take care.